Hey, today we're going to talk about how to build a custom entity extraction model with Google Cloud AutoML Natural Language. If you've played with the Natural Language API before, you might have seen that it can extract common entities from text, like the fact that Google is an organization or that iPhone is a consumer good. But what if you want to tag more domain-specific entities, like types of diseases or the specialized terminology you might find in legal documents or patents? For that, we'll use AutoML to train and build a custom entity extraction model. First, we'll need a labeled data set. Today, we'll build a model that analyzes patents from Google's public patent data set. Using Google Vision's OCR API, we extracted the text from a set of PDFs of patents. Here, we've stored that data in a JSONL file, which is the data type that AutoML Natural Language expects, and we've manually tagged within that text the character offsets of the custom entities we want to extract. AutoML Natural Language expects to read our JSONL files from a Google Cloud bucket. In addition to our JSONL data, we'll make a CSV file that tells it where in Google Cloud we've stored our data. Here we specify which data files should be used for training, validation, and testing of our model. If you don't break your data set into these three files, AutoML Natural Language will do it for you automatically. Now let's upload our data. Here in the AutoML Natural Language interface, we'll create a new data set. To import the data, we give AutoML Natural Language the CSV file we made, and then we wait. Importing data can take a couple of minutes to finish, but you'll get an email when it's done. Once our data is imported, we can view individual examples to make sure they were labeled correctly. We can check where in the text different custom entities were annotated. We can also annotate a new entity right here from within the tool. Notice that we can also tell how many examples we've got for each label. We can begin training a model by navigating over to the Train tab and clicking Start Training. Training a model can take up to three hours. Behind the scenes, AutoML will do a neural architecture search to find the best model it can. So now's a good time to take a coffee break. You'll get an email when the model's finished training. When training is finished, we'll be able to see our model here in the Train tab. We can see how well it did by clicking here to see full evaluation. Here in the Evaluate panel, we can see the performance of our model on different labels. The metrics we'll want to look at are precision and recall. Precision tells us, of the snippets the model labeled applicant, how many were really applicants. Recall tells us, of all the real applicants in our data set, what percent were accurately recognized by the model. We can also scroll down to see where the model correctly labeled applicant, these are the true positives, and where it accidentally mislabeled text as applicant, or false positives. In the Test and Use tab, we can start actually using our model hosted by Google. To do that, we first have to deploy our model, which could take a few minutes. Next, we can try to extract custom entities on a new text snippet. There we go. Here are the custom entities we extracted. That's all for now. Have fun modeling.